there are certain smiley traditions that have been lost over time. I'll give you an example. If there's two brothers, one of those brothers are married. That brother gets killed, passes away, whatever. He gone. Back in the day, that other brother, if that other brother wasn't married, single, no kids, even if he did have kids, that brother was expected to marry the widow of his brother. That's what it was. It's like, well, you're not married yet, and your brother's widow was alone. You have to be with her now. That's what it was. Some people think that's weird, that's fucked up, but that's what it was. That's why so many women that still have the smiley name, even though, like, your husband been passed away. Which, I don't agree with that. I think if a female is married to a smiley and he passes away, you should not be able to keep our smiley name anymore. But a lot of women get away with keeping our name and running around pretending to be a smiley. Because the only way that's acceptable to me is if you marry another smiley once again. It don't have to be your widow's husband. My bad. I just blanked out for a minute there, y'all. Trippy. Anyway, <laughs> it's different down here. We uh, The floor was wet, and they came and did some work. So uh, it's, it's different down here, even though I'm only got the camera pointed at the ground. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm looking around. So, um... And another thing that the smileys do traditionally that doesn't get done anymore, like if there was a situation where a smiley would die and they had a bunch of kids, those kids always go to another relative that does not have kids. My cousin Joe Lewis is a prime example of that. He's my Uncle Will Rob's son. But my Uncle Will Rob, he was one of the ones that had like 10, 15 damn kids, so... He sent some of them to other cousins that didn't have kids to be raised by those cousins. And then in Joe's situation, when his who he believed was his mother passed away, before she died, she gave him money, a bus ticket to go meet Will Rob. They're like, go meet your real father, your real mother. And he just wouldn't accept it. He's like, no, you're my real mother. And she's like, no, I'm not. So she was our cousin just raising him because she didn't have any kids. This is a normal common thing or it was in the smiley family back then they, nowadays they don't give a fuck they, they'll let you be homeless you can be a crackhead you can be a prostitute they'll let your ass die because this this breed of smileys is fucked up if you ask me dysfunctional like they don't have the big heart and compassion as the smileys did in alabama down south see i'm here in detroit y'all for those who don't know in the 313 so it's a different kind of smileys here in the city Versus the ones down south where all our roots, our heritage, our legacy, all of that shit is in Alabama and Selma and Sardis and in those areas. And uh, Pleasant Hill, back in the day, we used to call it Isom Bottom because it's our ancestor Isom's land. Only people from Alabama would know this shit, though. Look, don't believe me. Try to look it up on your phone. Look up Isom Bottom, Alabama. Nothing will show up. Nothing will show up because it doesn't exist anymore. What we call Ice and Bottom, they would call Pleasant Hill, Dallas County area. So now cousins don't look out for each other. Back then, our grandfathers, our great, they would build fucking houses for their siblings. They would build houses for them. Nowadays, these motherfuckers are laughing in your face if you just ask them to borrow $5. So, yes, yeah, a big difference. And that's why I, I really relate myself to the older smileys, my great grandfather, Leroy, and will rob and percy and all of them because the the new age smileys is cutthroat and they don't really give a fuck about what happened they'll talk shit about you when you going through it they'll kick you while you down i really i don't fucking like it the last smiley i really liked was my grandmother and my grandfather ever since then it's all bad and and, and you could tell it was close to the end with my grandmother and my grandfather because it was the last ones Growing their own food. They wasn't eating this bullshit that's killing everybody in their 60s. You won't even make it to 81 when you eating this processed bullshit. Synthetic meat products. Y'all keep eating this fuck shit that you're not supposed to be eating. Which is why I don't eat hot dogs. I don't eat sauceberry steaks. Which I call sauceberry fake. 
because it's not steak. If you've ever eaten steak before, you know Salisbury steak is not steak. It don't taste like steak. It don't look like steak. It's not fucking steak just because they put steak on the box. So that's what it is. You got to eat healthy. What you put in your vessel is very important. If you want longevity, if not, eat that bullshit. But don't have people crying when you die because people like me are telling them how you was living. 